Hey guys, so my packing process is still going. I started maybe three weeks ago on and off because I'm packing for two trips. But now I'm going to show you how I pack my skincare products and beauty products. First things first is this is a bag that I always take with me on travel. I've owned it for many, many years. I can't remember when I bought it. Anyway, so some of the things that I know are really important to have, I always leave them in the bag every time I travel. And I know, you know, they're fine. Like every time I travel, I come back, I go through things, everything that I want to take out and things that I want to leave that are okay to stay in there, I keep so then I don't have to, you know, repack or probably will forget. So starting off, I've got here my hairpins. They're all there, a nail filer, some clips, and this tiny little elastic band, which is quite useful if I wanted to do little tiny um, hair braids. I've got emergency plaster. So these always stay there, and if I use anything, then I always put it back. I have hair bands here, so this whole thing has everything. It's got hairpins, hair bands, everything, a little clip, these two other clips, and these always stay there. I've got my dental floss here as well, which always stays here. If I run out, I update every time I come back from the trip. And then that always stays this way, so I don't ever need to remember, oh, what do I need to take? Oh, what do you know, those little things. Again, essentials, deodorant. I have this deodorant for every day. And this one is if I'm wearing silk dresses or pretty dresses, I use a spray so it doesn't stain my clothes. And then I've got my headband for when I'm washing my face, take off my makeup, I'm done. So I can put my hair to the back and wash my face. <laughs> and I normally add other hair clips uh, from the ones I have. I've got hand cream. I love this hand cream, Galene, and my Bioderma makeup remover. So the mini Bioderma makeup remover stays in here all the time. So what I do add is this, these simple wipes, but I can't leave them in here because I don't know when I'm going to travel and these ones dry out. So I add those freshly every time I'm traveling. But the deodorants, I know I'm dressing up for this trip a little bit we're going sandbags first so normally i prefer to have a smaller size but i don't have one um so i'm gonna think if i buy a smaller one in the next few days like a travel size then i can put that back in my cupboard um and then i have dry shampoo there's not much in it it's an essential i always keep in here soap it's always packed again in here, like my special face soap. And this little mini for you, I could take my for you, the rechargeable one, which is, again, it's not very big, but this one was gifted to me and I thought it's really useful because it's the um, disposable one. I can use it for a hundred times and then I can throw it away after. I've got my shaver, of course. This one is pretty new, refreshed. Got my shaver. <laughs> and some hair stuff. So the hair stuff that I feel are so important to always have, I check them if they're about to run out. If they're about to run out, I always replace them with ones that are fuller, depending how long my trip is, but these are pretty full. So I've got hairspray. I like the very strong one because again, Whenever I'm away in the sunshine, I love doing those little mini, like small braids. And instead of actually tying them with something, I know I showed you two little elastic bands, but really I prefer not to tie them. I always prefer to use hairspray. Um, I've got leave-in curls conditioner because on my beach holidays, which my destinations are going to be beach holidays, this trips, these trips, I always have beachy hair and then I don't want to blow dry it and I'm washing it every day because I'm swimming every day so instead it's wet after a shower and I just put like a leave-in conditioner and I go like this and it looks like it's just 
has that little beach wave. And so important for me to travel with baby powder. Baby powder is so important, why? Because of those oily stains. If I'm eating something and a tiny bit of oil spills, I come home, put baby powder, leave it in for a day, then I just scrape it off and the oil mark is gone. And then, or afterwards, like I wash that a little bit and it's gone. But this is what keeps my clothes in good condition. So this is a must have. So now we're moving on to skincare products. I started using the Guerlain skincare products around February when I hosted the masterclass, the Valentine's masterclass. I don't know who attended, but it's also somewhere here on my blog if you'd like to have a look. It was so much fun. So I started using the skincare range from that time, which involved these, okay? As you can see, this one is pretty much finished and they're really long lasting. So from February till now, we're in June, end of June, I'm using those and I am just so in love. So, and it's, I think it's really important to sometimes switch brands also and you can see there is an effect on your skin when you do that. I used Swissco before that and before that I was on Sicily and before that I was in Givenchy. So I just keep changing things around and see what works for that long longer term and these are my large products which i use here so i have them here in the smaller travel size which is perfect so i'm taking this with me and the oil i think oil is so nice for thirsty skin when you're in sunshine that's the eye cream very important to always use eye cream and that's their night cream which i am already finishing i love using night creams or night oils i'm also going to take the Sicily Night Oil with me, the Black and Rose. That's my absolute favorite range. I've been using this since 2017. This is for a very, very thirsty skin. I thought if my skin is so dry from the sun, that will come in handy. And this cream, which I really love also, I featured it a few times on my trip in Sandbanks. It's got SPF and a tint. So it's really nice to use for day when you're on the beach and you don't want to wear makeup. I use the Dr. David Jack um, SPF moisturizer, sun protection moisturizer, because I find that the tint in there catches really nice light and gave me actually a very natural sun color afterwards and it protected my skin completely. So let's pack that. And these are after I wash my face in the night and if I wanted to put, if I wanted to switch around either to use the oil at night, which is um, an anti-aging nutrition face oil, or I use the face cream, like however I feel. But I always wash off all my makeup in the evening. I also love taking with me some sleeping masks. Um, if I want to switch from the oil or like one night I don't want to put oil, one night I want to put a sleeping mask or one night I just want to, or one week I just want to moisturize normally in the evening before I go to bed after I take off my makeup. This is a beautiful velvet sleeping mask from Sicily which I absolutely love. And now body cream. I'm taking with me the Black Rose Hydrating body cream that is just launched from Sicily and it's from the same family of the Black Rose that I've been using for many years. This range I love using in the summer because it's so light when it's hot and if you're sweaty. It normally comes with this also day cream that I love using. I normally apply this during the day and I put this in the night like throughout the whole summer but I'm taking the Guerlain range with me instead but I'm only using this. So it's about playing with your skincare products as much as you play with makeup. You know, I've tried all of them for a very long time, so I know what works for me, and I know what I want to use in that period of time. Hair brushes, of course. I'm taking my hair dryer. I just ordered a yellow one, so I can leave my pink one here. And then, because everybody else uses my hair dryer, my kids, the boys, so at least I can have a different color one for fun. Um, so I am taking uh, my hair brushes. This one is if I want to back comb, split things, do different hairstyles. This one, I think I've had it for about 100 years. I know I'm not 100 yet, but 
And this one is for blow drying my hair and my regular hairbrush. Everything I just showed you, packed, zipped up, and I could put it flat in the bag. When it's flat, it doesn't take space. And then anything that spills, spills inside, so I'm not worried about my clothes. But I normally put those like in a special way. So these are my beauty essentials all packed up. And now we've got this bag, which again, always stays the same way. It's got my toothbrush, my electric tooth toothbrush stuff, and special plugs that I managed to get from different hotels, which fits anywhere, actually. So this always stays the same with the toothpaste. And that's where my toothbrush is. I'm using my toothbrush now, but when I'm traveling, it's gonna go right in here. And my perfumes. So I love perfumes, but then what I do is I pack two usually. Two with me, and these are just perfect. So I've got here, I've already packed my Chanel Dardinia one, which is really nice and fresh for every day. And then this one, which I can't live without, is my Guerlain Insolence that I've been using since 2008. It's my signature scent. And I might take the other Guerlain and mix it together, so mix them in the evening. But this one always captures so much attention when I wear it. People always come up to me and ask me, what am I wearing? And, um, and these are smaller sizes, so they're good for traveling. I've got my eye patch in case I want to nap. In the daytime, I always take this with me. So makeup. We're here at the beauty counter now. So I'm packing for makeup, and it's another, you know, full process for me because I think about what I really want to use, what I want to have fun with using. It's like packing for my wardrobe. I take things that I haven't worn or really want to dress them up a bit more on holiday and then I take my essentials. Um, but but because I'm packing for the first trip, which is sandbags, it's a little bit more chill over there. We're just going to be with family. I probably won't wear much makeup. So I'm packing for that. So I've got two options here. I've got this foundation by Clodopa, which I really love. Or the Chanel or the Givenchy one actually hmm. so my Chanel ones I have them already for my last trip I put them all here in little tubes so these were great um, I've got two shades I've got the 20 and 30 because I like mixing colors so these are great because they're, they're already in little um, tubes. I don't have to take the whole thing. Um, but I don't have any more of these. Um, those little tubes. I used to buy them actually from the store, but they weren't a good quality. So they used to end up opening up all over and messing up my, my makeup bag. But these came straight from Chanel. I asked them to give me some more and they did, which have been really useful because they close very well. They're what they use when they give you samples. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to take the skincare glow foundation by Givenchy because I haven't used that for a bit and I am going to decide which color to take and I think I'm going to take that with me. I have my makeup brushes here, I've got my blending brushes. So every time I travel I wash all my brushes so I'm going to give these all a wash. I love having everything clean and washed and fresh. So this is the one to put the foundation, this is the one to blend, this one is double blend, that's under eyes. Uh, these I must, must pack. Um, this one is my highlighter. I am deciding which highlighter to take. I think I'm going to take the Guerlain one. I really like this because I find that highlighter and at the same time eyeshadows, I could use them as eyeshadows, especially when it's um summertime so i could just put that here and use it as eyeshadow look like a very light kind of eyeshadow and then this i 
can use the high lip here. So I always start off with the foundations. Let's put them here, even though I'm gonna wash them. And I test and I explore and I try things on again, especially if I haven't tried them for a bit. So I try and because now maybe my color changed a little bit, it's a little bit summery, it's different. I just then could decide what I really wanna take with me that way. I'm taking one foundation brush. I don't need more than one foundation brush. Pack you, you, and you. With bronzers, I am sticking to Guerlain. Guerlain just launched um, their new Terracotta Light Bloom, which is like the ones I use, but obviously they would always have like a little uh, bit of a twist to, to it. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this one has a bit of gold shimmer and pink. This is perfection. Oh, and what I'm really, really excited to take with me actually on this trip and to try to use a lot is the new Givenchy stuff. That they just launched. So the blush is what they just launched and I'm so excited about this because I could use it. I have, which color do I have here? The coral, the coral. So I could use it as eyeshadow or I could use it as the blush. And this is the blush that I'm really excited to use. So I'm taking this with me. Let's give it a little try here. She applied it, it looked so nice and natural on, so I'm excited to use this. So let's see. Oh my God, it's so cute. And that's the coral. So this is my um, brush that I use for my blusher usually. I've been using this blusher, which I love, by Clota Pop, but this one just launched, so let's see. This one seems a bit more pigmented. How nice is this? Because I'm new to this, I'm still gonna take my uh, regular pink one that I'm using, just in case, but I'm already in love with this. So I feel like to blend, I probably need another brush, another uh, blush brush. So I've got two blush brushes. I've got my regular brushes. These are, one is for powder, one is for bronzing. I've got my powder brush as well. This one's completely clean. It just has white powder. It's after I finish my makeup. So now, I, if I look like I have too much pink, I can just go over that. Guys, you know what I think? I think this summer, pink is your new bronze, where it's always about bronze, but I really think pink is really happening. I'm seeing it a lot. Look, how nice is this? Let's take these. My primer, oh my God, last time I traveled, I forgot my primer. How on earth can I forget my primer? It felt like I was lost. It felt like I was completely lost without a primer. I was like, how on earth did, could this happen to me? <laughs> I'm taking my bronzing palette, this one, the terracotta. Okay, this bag is only for my eye stuff. I've got, I've got my concealer brush, which again, I'm also gonna wash. This is a, a translucent under eye brush that I like to use. Uh, this is my Laura Mercier translucent powder um, this is actually a very old one that I bought which came with a concealer but what I do use it for is I always add the translucent powder here so then I don't have to pack this whole big one and I just keep applying it in there and pack and just take that one with me because all I use it for is under my eyes and then with the brush I go like my eyebrow pencils and eyebrow corrector uh, an eyebrow powder palette just in case i have i always take two pencils 
uh, just in case I lose one or whatever because I can't live without my eyebrows. And two concealers. This one is my favorite Chanel that I apply everywhere. This one I correct with. It's very nice and light. And I am taking the Marc Jacobs concealer. Sometimes if I don't if I feel if I don't really feel like wearing makeup all around or foundation, I just use a concealer that I go around certain areas. Uh, where I've got redness and I just blend it and that's it. That's my makeup and I apply blusher I just decided to take this foundation stick with me. This is a terracotta Guerlain stick I love it in the summertime when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup and I have a great tan I just again, it's like the concealer from Marc Jacobs that I use to just cover redness and then put bronzer all around or pink blush uh, but I've decided I'm gonna take those two so so these are done and now we're moving on to lipsticks this makeup bag I take with me and it is my handbag makeup uh, bag it's very small and it's got my two things that I always will need in my makeup bag my my brush and my bronzer so what my bronzer has this is the natural sun trio bronzer so it's got the the bronzers here if i want to retouch and it's got that little white um like retouch powder as well which is very nice if i just want to use this on its own i use it under my eyes if i'm out and um and this always comes with me in my handbag so this is also coming with me and whatever lipstick I'll be wearing that night goes inside here. So when I pack for lipsticks, it's a nightmare, guys, because I look at the clothes that I've taken, the colors, and then I start applying everything that I haven't applied in so long. So then it becomes a lipstick party at my house. I just packed these Kim K ones that I use pretty much every day. I've been obsessed with them. And then now let's see, I'm looking for orange shades. I have a whole bag full of bright orange colors, but I forgot I have this one, these really cute ones from Tom Ford, so let's see. It's nice, but this is not the orange that I'm looking for. And then I've got this other orange. Let's see what that one's like. But sometimes I create those with an addition of lip liner. So I packed this orange, bright orange lip liner that I recently bought. So nice. This is the orange that I want for a lipstick. So let's find it. So deciding what to pack for makeup is really hard, guys. It's as hard as packing for clothes. So now I've done my clothes. I was looking at the colors I've taken to sandbags, and most of them have orange and neutral and yellow I was trying out make the pinks this pink is a bit too pink so I'm taking that to Marbella but then I went with lighter pinks I mixed two pinks I went with one red for like full I love this red this red is by Givenchy this was a red that was created for the Chinese New Year and I just love the shade because it's mixed with gold so when you apply it it has like a gold shimmer it's so beautiful so that's the one I'm gonna take with me. And trying to find the right orange was hard. So let's take this off. Found a Sicily one that I have. Let's try that. I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner. That's exactly what I want. And I am packed for my trip. I look so summery. So I've got my orange lipstick and I've got very light nudey pinky shades and I've got a little bit of brownie. And these are exactly what I want. So you guys can see the effort I put into my lipsticks. Whenever I get compliments, on my Instagram I get so happy because it's not just I just throw on any lipstick it's a lot of effort to find the shade the way I apply it like and I really think lipsticks are so important like they're number one for me when it comes to makeup I don't mind not having 
any eyeshadow, any mascara. I just need a good lipstick and a blush and it completes my look. When it comes to eyes, I'm pretty simple. Sometimes I'm just happy with mascara and a little bit of just brown liner that I apply with an eyeshadow. So I'm taking the brown eyeshadow here to use as a little bit of, to use as a liner. And I'm taking this, which I love using this for traveling. It's, it's Tom Ford and it's brown and I just apply it with this brush. It's a little bit, um, I don't know what you call it, it's not powdery and it's not liquidy, but it's one of those where when you apply it, it sticks immediately so you've got to blend very, very quickly. So that's the one I'll be taking. I've taken the brushes that I know I need and will use. I've taken blue mascara. I'm hoping to buy a new one. I'll see if I could find one from, uh, uh, from YSL in the airport, but this will do. Blue mascara and my normal black mascaras. These are by Mina Shekhi. I really love them. Taking these. My Guerlain ones, I pretty much run out, so I have to get new ones. And then I have two occasions for sandbags. One, which we're doing a family photo shoot. And the other one, which is Marcus's birthday. So I plan to put subtle blue eyeshadow. So it's either I take this palette, this whole palette, because it's got a lot of lovely blue shades. Or I take these two. Help, please. I might just take these instead of that. And I'm going to take my blue eyeliner. That to apply under my eyes. And I'll take the glittery one just in case I need it. Change of plans. I decided to take this palette because it's got so many fun colors and I thought I have a super colorful t-shirt, I could put neon eyeshadow and just have fun. My full makeup bag here, all packed up uh, and I'm taking my Givenchy new product. Uh, I'm taking, so one thing I forgot to talk about is during sunshine in my daily, not when I'm dressing up or going out, I love wearing tinted sort of lip balm and Givenchy's tinted lip balm that they've just launched. This is called Milky Nude and they also have other shades um, that I can wear sort of during the day on the beach and then I get that like tinted ready lip or pinky lip which stains the lip. I love those. So these are for my everyday lipsticks and then the rest are for when we're having dinner in the night or whatever, having fun. So that's my makeup all done and ready for sandbags. And I packed my shampoos. These are from a new brand I haven't used before. They're called Shampoo with a C. And I'm gonna try them out on vacation. So my shampoos are also ready. All packed up and ready for my vacation in sandbags. Come back and I go away again to Marbella. But then I will add more stuff and remove some of this stuff from here. So hope you guys enjoyed seeing my packing. I showed you the essentials, which were general, but makeup, this is how I pack my makeup. I'm sure everybody's different. Some people take more, some people take less. I just love to make sure that I have everything and I enjoy using everything and exploring and having fun when I'm on vacation with a lot of color. So see you guys next time and thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget, like and subscribe.